Right now, we are through two days of the first criminal trial of former President Donald Trump. Find out how many jurors have been seated and when testimony could begin. Plus, trillions of cicadas will soon be buzzing around. Find out which counties they're expected to appear in in our viewing area. And we still have some rain as spreading across southern Wisconsin this morning, even embedded thunderstorms. We'll see how long this rain chance will last coming up. Hey, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on News 3 Now this morning. I'm Shane Hogan. And I'm Chris Stanford. Happy Wednesday. Still some rain out there. We had a pretty decent band roll through about sure what, 45 did. minutes, an hour ago. Let's take a live look at the Beltline. South Park Street looks like smooth sailing out there on those wet roads. Unlike last night, uh, heavy showers and thunderstorms rolled through, uh, even tornado warnings in our area. Yeah, got pretty, it was coming down pretty hard last night. It was also just coming down pretty hard about half hour ago, Kelly. Yeah, you know, we had yeah, really heavy downpours yesterday. Now, thankfully, we didn't have a whole lot of severe weather reports. However, there was one as report down here toward Beloit. Uh, historic pump house actually had some damage. We had some light poles come down as well with some trees. That was about 925. So that was a little bit later in the evening at 740. We did have some trees come down as well on County Road F in Fayette County. This was at 740 uh, on the in Middleton. We had some hail reports, uh, mostly though, just some wind damage, mainly some tree limbs coming down up here toward Lodi. Uh, south of State Highway 60 on Riddle Road in Lodi. So all the uh, severe weather is done with. We still have some showers out there, even some embedded thunderstorms. You can see some of these heavier downpours now on the east side of Dane County headed into uh, parts of Jefferson County this morning. But right now, downtown Madison is quiet. The uh, line extends from Sun Prairie toward Rockdale, headed on to the east toward Lake Mills. We'll watch that uh, kind of uh, race through parts of Dane County, even a couple of embedded Thunderstorms rolling through, but nothing severe, and we don't expect anything severe. This storm system really wrapping up. Now, most of the rain today is going to be in northern parts of the state, but we can't rule out a spotty shower even after this morning's band of rain moving through. Another batch of rain moving through, it uh, looks like tomorrow, and it's going to remain breezy right through Friday, and temperatures will be cooling down into the weekend. We're at 62, so pretty mild start to the morning. 63 right now in Middleton. 64 currently in Mount Horeb. So we had the band moving through this morning. See everything rotating up to the north in Adams and Juneau County. That's where the uh, steadier rains will be today. Can't rule out a spotty shower though, even into the Madison area this afternoon. They'll be brief and pretty light. We will start to see that west wind kicking and that'll bring us some cooler temperatures going through tonight and tomorrow. 62 right now with a thunderstorm reported at the airport. Temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s. More rain on the way tomorrow. We'll track it for you coming up. All right, Kelly, keeping an eye on it. Thank you. The redesign of the Lake Monona Terrace and waterfront is one step closer to breaking ground. Last night, Madison's Common Council approved the master plan proposed by Boston-based design firm Sasaki. The plan has been in the works now for several years, five years or so. It won a city residence survey last year, passed unanimously through six committees, and that brings us to today. The plan focuses on sustainability when proposing expanding the terrace, adding a waterfront restaurant, community center, and nature center, and more. Implement all aspects of the plan all at once simply are not feasible, and it's not intended to work that way. It could be 10, 20, 30, 40 years down the road before all the elements would be implemented. And it's likely that not all elements will be implemented, but it's the notion that we would have this set of ideas and these plans to really take advantage of what is an underutilized space in our city. I think he's uh, asking everyone to have some patience there you go. in the construction process here. So originally the plan focused on Law Park or the area around Monona Terrace and Convention Center, but in 2019, the mayor recommended extending the scope Meanwhile, John Nolan Drive is being reconstructed as well. The State General reports construction on this project should break ground sometime in 2027. Time is 6.03. A man is in custody this morning after a road rage incident on the Beltline. It started Friday evening near the Whitney Way exit. Madison police officers say the man got mad when a vehicle stopped in front of him. The driver in the other vehicle says she called police when she saw the man grab a gun. Officers found the man's vehicle in Middleton. Two guns were found in the front seat. The man was arrested for disorderly conduct and taken to the Dane County Jail. We are now uh, on a break from Donald Trump's criminal trial. There are seven jurors, though, sworn in and seated for the former president's trial in Manhattan. It comes 24 hours after not a single juror had been confirmed. Trump has pleaded not guilty to 34 felony counts of falsifying business records ahead of the 2016 election. CBS News' Jared Hill reports from New York. 
Former President Donald Trump took his fight against Manhattan's DA from the courtroom to a corner store, the site of a highly publicized fatal attack just two years ago that led to criticism of the very same man prosecuting his case. It's a rigged trial. Our courts, everything is screwed up in New York. The stop comes as the jury for Trump's hush money trial is taking shape. Four men and three women were seated Tuesday. Among them, a nurse, a teacher, and two lawyers. Kara McGee is one of dozens who were excused. It's someone who you've seen as this huge public figure for so long, and you walk in and see him, and he's just a guy. While one potential juror was being questioned, Judge Juan Marchand heard Trump audibly uttering something and chastised him, saying, I won't tolerate that. I will not have any jurors intimidated in this courtroom. This judge is so conflicted. Outside the courtroom, the former president repeatedly slammed the judge. He's rushing this trial, and he's doing as much as he can for the Democrats. Trump also bristled at the requirement to attend every day of the trial, while his 2024 opponent, President Joe Biden, campaigns. I should be right now in Pennsylvania, in Florida, in many other states. Five more jurors and half a dozen alternates still need to be selected. Trump has denied the allegations he falsified business records. Jared Hill, CBS News, New York. The judge says opening arguments could begin as soon as Monday. Next week, the judge will also hear arguments from both sides on prosecutors' request that former President Trump be held in contempt for public comments he made bashing key players in the case. They say the remarks violate Trump's gag order. Turning to another case against the former president now, the Supreme Court is hearing arguments from a former Pennsylvania police officer who stormed the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. Joseph Fisher's case could potentially undermine federal charges against hundreds of those rioters. The high court's decision could also have significant ramifications for President Trump. That's because he was charged with the same criminal offense of obstructing an official proceeding. The Supreme Court will consider whether the interpretation of the law by prosecutors can be used against the rioters. We are learning more about what's expected to be the summer of cicadas. Two broods will soon emerge, a rare event that happens once every 221 years. We wanted to show you this map. Okay, so the counties in brown are where this group will be seen. So a lot of our viewing area That's covered us. here. <laughs> they are expected to pop up in about a month or so. So people in these areas have some time to prepare. Not a whole lot, though. Cicadas are mostly just a nuance, a nuisance, but they can't hurt trees and shrubs once they emerge. The older trees, they'll be able to recover. The younger ones, if they were attacked, need to be watered frequently uh, to about an inch of water per week. And you might want to put some mulch around the bottom there. Experts also recommend purchasing cicada tree netting. If you want to protect those young trees, now is the time to get the protection. That's because in a month's time, they're expected to jump in price and sell out. A new grant will help the city of Madison restore and maintain more than 300 affordable housing units across the city. It's all part of the Capital Improvements for Nonprofit Housing Program. The money came from federal grant funding. It totals over $2 million this year in grants. More than half of the units in the proposed project had to house people with incomes at or below 80% of Dane County's average. The city says this will be an effective tool for making sure the housing stock it already has is here for generations to come. This week here on News 3 Now this morning, we are giving away tickets to the Midwest Horse Fair. You have today and tomorrow to get a chance to win these tickets here. It's a four pack for you and your family. It's at the Alliant Energy Center from the 19th to the 21st. The ticket package is valued at almost 600 bucks. To enter the giveaway for the 2024 Midwest Horse Fair, just log on to channel3000.com slash contests. Well, the annual day of the Badger continues today. It's the big annual fundraiser for the Wisconsin Foundation and the Alumni Association. It lasts until 5 p.m. today. It's 1,848 minutes in total, a nod to the University of Wisconsin's founding in 1848. You can use the hashtag Day of the Badger on social media if you post anything related. And for more information, go to daythebadger.org. Hey, uh, good stuff yesterday here. Bucky getting in on Day of the Badger fun. With a workout for every <laughs> 10 gifts received, the mascot had to do one push-up. Any gifts of $5 or more can be given to over 150 different initiatives and organizations on the UW-Madison campus. The event continues to share enthusiasm and support for UW-Madison.
And we're so excited to celebrate all the amazing achievements that happen here on campus and the impact that's held across the world from the things that happen here. So the research, the innovation, all those things we like to celebrate. The university raised uh, one point, uh, excuse me, uh, six point seven million dollars over the first four years of running Day wow, of the Badger. That is a lot of money. Yeah, so you've still got some time to donate and help out our flagship university. Very cool. All right, we still have some uh, showers rolling through uh, southern parts of Wisconsin, and not only today, but it looks like tomorrow some more rain on the way. We'll have the first warm forecast coming up. Also ahead, the Bucks are about to begin their playoff series. But the injury to Giannis looms large. Find out more about this and his status coming up in your morning sports. You're watching News 3 Now This Morning. Brought to you by Toyota. Dear Sharp Curves, don't spin your wheels. Toyota has more all-wheel drive sedans than any other brand. So you can bet your bottom dollar that we're sharper than ever. Cause we got traction, baby. Yours, Toyota Sedans. Right now, you can get 2.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Toyota Camry. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. When you donate furniture, cabinets, and appliances to Habitat Restore, you make an impact on neighbors in your community. Profits generated from Restore sales help provide safe and secure housing for hardworking families across Dane County. Donate to make a difference today. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $200 at Walmart, over $300 at Lens Crafters, and over $200 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. With the best service, quality, and prices, Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. To help you remember, I made this cheer. V value, A awesome value, L lots of value, U. Get two pairs of free eye exam and anti-glare lenses for only $79. Shop family-owned Brothers Main for our large selection, low price deals, and free delivery on top brands like Cafe, Hot Point, and GE Appliances. From sales to install, we do it all. Feel great about your purchases. Feel like family at Brothers Main. In this day and age, we spend way too much time scrolling. Instead, join us for some horseplay at the Midwest Horse Fair. Check out insane tricks, hundreds of horses, clinicians, amazing eats, and spectacular shopping. And entertainment like you've never seen, IRL. Sorry, ask your kids what IRL is. It's the great Midwest Horse Fair. Join us at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison, April 19th through the 21st. Now is the best time to buy new Champion windows. Because when you buy two, you get, get two, two free. free. Hurry, Champion's buy two, get two free sale is for a limited time. That's a great deal. Thanks. Nice. Call 888-4-CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. Dad, are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. This homestyle chicken salad wrap from Subway, this is how you do it. Savory chicken, crisp veggies, all wrapped up. These wraps are amazing. People can hear my thoughts. That's a problem. Stay fresh out there with all new reps from Subway. You're watching News 3 Now This Morning, moving forward. Welcome back. Three new investigations are now underway to see who may be responsible for the deadly Baltimore Bridge collapse. You see right here the scene of the cleanup as it continues three weeks after the bridge went down. This as two of the victims' bodies are still missing. Cole Higgins has more. Three weeks after a massive cargo ship struck Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge, authorities confirmed the body of a fourth victim has been recovered. Six construction workers who were working on the bridge at the time of the collapse plunged into the Patapsco River and died. Two of their bodies are still missing. They were living the American dream, fixing America's infrastructure. Out there just filling potholes, not knowing 
it was going to be their last day. Attorneys for the families of two of the victims and one survivor announcing they are conducting their own investigation into the bridge collision. The ship's owner and manager have filed a petition in federal court asking for a cap of about $43.7 million on potential liability payouts. Attorney Kevin Mahoney says the company's petition relies on an outdated law and is calling on Congress to repeal it. The Limitation of Liability Act was passed 173 years ago in 1851. That's about 20 years before Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. Meanwhile, the FBI confirms the agency, along with the Coast Guard, has launched a criminal investigation into the bridge collapse, telling us, quote, the FBI is present aboard the cargo ship Dolly, conducting court-authorized law enforcement activity. The city of Baltimore also looking into who may be to blame for destroying the bridge that 30,000 Marylanders relied on every day. Anything that we can do to help Baltimore uh, recover from that tragedy. I'm Cole Higgins reporting. The National Transportation Safety Board has also been investigating why the 213 million pound ship lost power and crashed into the 47 year old bridge. That probe has been focused on engine room equipment. Quarter after six, Kelly Slifka is on the patio. Are we finished with the rain here in Madison today? Uh, I wouldn't say completely. Uh, I think we're mostly done with the uh, rain chances today. Can't rule out a spotty shower here and there, but it's going to be lighter and it's going to be uh, quite brief. But that was not the case, obviously, yesterday. Take a look at some of these heavier rainfall totals, really where we really needed it, up there in Columbia County, Sauk County, toward the Adels, Sauk City. See that area of purple, that even some reds indicating two to as much as four inches of rain on the northwest side of Dane County up into parts of Sauk County or near the Wisconsin River Valley. Lesser amounts to the east, but all of southern Wisconsin got some pretty good rains. Generally, the heaviest rainfall of over an inch fell from Madison and areas to the uh, west. Right now, the uh, band of showers that rolled through uh, Madison here about an hour ago has moved on to the east toward Fort Atkinson, headed toward Watertown. Just a very narrow band, but it's a, a moderate band of showers rolling on through, and it's moving fairly quickly, so it won't last real long. So the folks that uh, to the east of Madison that didn't get as much rain, you got the rain coming down now. That should be just about it, but it does expend from eastern Columbia County toward Beaver Dam into Dodge County, then down toward Jefferson County, Fort Atkinson, and also Whitewater seeing some of the rain this morning. Here's the storm system really wrapping up. The area of low pressure going to spin right across northern Wisconsin. That's where most of the rain is going to fall today, but we'll be close enough. We can't rule out a spotty shower going through the morning hours, even into the early afternoon hours. Better chance of more widespread rain moving right back at us going into tomorrow and for the rest of the week. We're going to expect some breezy conditions. It will be turning cooler toward the end of the weekend of the weekend. Today, though, not too bad in the lower 60s. It's going to be breezy with that wind switching around the west up there at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So look at mostly cloudy skies. Can't rule out a spotty shower. Most of this staying to the north up there in Adams and Juneau County toward Watoma. Spotty shower this afternoon. Otherwise, we'll see skies clear out tonight as temperatures back off into the 40s. Tomorrow, unfortunately, it looks like those clouds will roll in just as the sun's coming up. And then we are expecting more rain showers uh, throughout the day tomorrow. So we're going to be adding some more rainfall totals. Then after that, I think it's just about done with. We're sitting at 60 in Madison. It's up to 66 in Janesville, while 61 in Lone Rock and across Dane County. We've got temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s this morning. So a mild start to the morning. I don't think temperatures will rise a whole lot from where we're at. It's going to be another breezy day. More showers tomorrow, a little bit more widespread temperature starting to back off a little bit and kind of cool this weekend, upper 40s to around 50 Saturday, low 50s Sunday. No rain chances going into next week. Sunday is only four days away, but I'm sure the Bucks would like to start the playoffs in about 15 days so they can get healthy, mainly their superstar in Giannis. The Bucks' big man is rehabbing his calf around the clock, but his status for game one is up in the air. Milwaukee is just four and five this season without Giannis in the lineup, and they're preparing to be without him for the start of their series with Indiana. Yeah, I literally don't know one way or the other. I mean, he could play in game one, um, and he could not play. He's doing well. I mean, he's, he's you know, walking around and looks good. Um, I can say farther than we thought it would be, uh, but just not ready yet. Until we know if he's playing or not, we're going to prepare like he's not playing. Simple as that. That's not the first game he's missed, unfortunately, so we just have to carry on along. Um, and while he's getting his work on the side, trying to get back ready, we have to focus on who's out on the court. There are a couple phases of spring ball. The excitement of the start, the end of a spring practice, and the stretch the Badgers are in right now. 
the grind. This phase for Wisconsin, well, the excitement is worn off. They're hitting the meetings and the practice field day in and day out. And while it can take a physical toll, the mental side of things is what Luke Fickle is interested in during this part of spring. You've got to continue to push. I think that's the biggest emphasis. This is the, this is the tough time right here, 8, 9, 10. You know, eight, nine, ten, and probably half of their buddies and, and people have, you know, moved on from spring from spring ball already. Um, but this is a really, really big time for us because we'll find out mentally where we are as a football team. Brewers looking to even their series with the Padres before the game. The crew placed Christian Yelich on the 10-day IL because of his back, and it would only get worse for the home team. First inning, Wade Miley would give up four runs, including a three-run bomb. Brewers lose their first series of the season. Six to three, the final. And that's it for morning sports. Have a great day. All right, Zach, you too. Still ahead, how organizers are marking 100 days until the Olympics. And in our next half hour, after Republicans didn't show up to a joint finance committee meeting about PFAS, Governor Evers is threatening to sue the state legislature. We have details and reactions still ahead. And as we had a break this morning, we're taking a look at gas prices. We're back after this. Susan Simon, News 3 Now at 4 and 5, weekdays moving forward. At JR's Mulch Sales, mulch is all we do, which is why we do it better. We deliver 10 varieties of mulch seven days a week, right to your door. Call us today. JR's Mulch Sales, spread it around. suffer with pain, numbness, and tingling in the hands or feet? Commonly diagnosed as peripheral neuropathy? Are you taking drugs such as Lyrica or Gabapentin that have serious side effects and often do not relieve your symptoms? Your doctor has told you you may just have to live with the pain. Peripheral neuropathy is a result of damage to the nerves, often causing burning, weakness, pain, numbness, tingling, and the most debilitating balance problems. Our facility uses multiple therapeutic methods to help give you relief from neuropathy symptoms with no injections and no drugs. You may start seeing relief after only a few sessions. To determine if your neuropathy symptoms can be relieved, we will do a consultation to evaluate the extent of your condition. Call us today to schedule your neuropathy consultation to find out if you're a candidate for our therapy. Call today. Chevy Equinox has been ranked number one by J.D. Power for dependability and new vehicle quality among compact SUVs. In other words, it's really good right from the start. Chevy Equinox. Do that again. Connected by OnStar. Qualified lessees can get this Equinox for $2.69 a month. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. You take pride in your lawn. That's why Blaine's Farm and Fleet has everything you need to help it reach its full potential. Stay ahead of crabgrass with the State Crabgrass Preventer Plus Lawn Fertilizer for strong, healthy turf. Scott's Turf Builder with Halt's Crabgrass Preventer protects your lawn from crabgrass and other invasive weeds. Plus, get thick green grass with Scott's Turf Builder Triple Action. It kills crabgrass and other tough weeds while feeding your lawn for up to four months. That's genuine value from Blaine's Farm and Fleet. At JR's Mulch Sales, mulch is all we do, which is why we do it better. We deliver 10 varieties of mulch seven days a week, right to your door. Call us today. JR's Mulch Sales, spread it around. We're back sharing Mark's morning with you here at 624. What a lovely shot of a covered bridge and the sunrise, Shane. It is a beautiful shot. I love all the colors there. Got some pinks and some oranges, some purples. That's beautiful. Beautiful photo. You know, the, the uh, you see a lot of the bare trees here. 
I mean, it's really starting to pop out mm. there. A lot of those trees are starting. And after to... this recent rain yesterday and today, yeah, it's really going to start looking pretty beautiful out there. Thanks, Mark, for sending the picture. We appreciate it. Send us your morning. It'll wind up on TV. All right, Shane, what are we talking about today? Well, we are officially 100 days away from the Olympic Games right. in Paris this summer. That came quick. Yeah, it sure did. The countdown clock in Paris has ticked down to that milestone of 100 days away. So with the games coming up, that means the torch relay has officially begun. It began in Greece, of course, the home of the ancient games. The torch will travel around the world and back to Paris in time for opening ceremonies this summer. Any events you're excited to watch this season? I'm really pumped for Simone Biles. Uh, I believe this will be her last Olympics. Um, you remember the hype around when Michael Phelps came out and was like, this is going to be my last one. I think it was the right, 2016 right. in it's, Rio. It's a farewell show, yeah. Uh, I, people were glued to the TV to see history one more time. So I think Simone is going to drive a lot of viewers to the TV, myself included. So I'm really excited to see her. I love like the beach volleyball. I know Kelly, I'm sure, loves watching the beach volleyball. Uh, the old Misty May trainer squads yeah. back in the day. So um, yeah, I, I don't really get excited until it's like, oh, the Olympics are happening, you know? How yeah. about you? you? Got a favorite? Uh, I, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Katie Ledecky. <laughs> I love the swimming too. You know, there's I, so much. Uh, I will get more amped the closer we get. To yeah. It. 100 days. Uh, that just, could be we're next just feeling year. it out. That we're just feeling year, it out. 100 days will come faster than I, I want it to. Mm -hmm. I will admit that. All right. Hey, uh, when we come back, we're going to get the latest track on some rain that's moving on out of the viewing area and what the rest of your week looks like. That's right after this. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. This famous wood fence from the show Home Improvement had to have boards replaced 13 times in only nine years. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are all backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. This month, save $1,000 on your project. Visit the website or call the number for your new fence today. Living Out Courage is it's about being intentional. I wanted to work out with people and have that sense of community, and that is probably the number one reason I show up every day. But that had to start with a simple hello. People just want to feel seen. It feels nice to say hi and actually get to know the people that you're working out around. Having the friendships that I have here now has changed my life. So join me, be courageous. Make those daily decisions for a better tomorrow. Start with courage, let's go. Right now, pet dander, skin cells, mold spores, pollen, and dirt are being sucked into your air ducts. Get cleaner air and system efficiency now with Stanley Stamer. For over 75 years, we've continually engineered our equipment and processes to deep clean your entire home. Your air ducts aren't clean until they're Stanley Steamer clean. Call Save on new Champion windows during replacement window season. Now is the best time to buy new Champion windows, because when you buy two, you get two free. If your windows are drafty, ugly, or broken, your home needs our windows. We design, build, install, and guarantee it for life. We have enough hands to help you every step of the way. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks. Buy two, get two won't last long. Call or schedule online at getchampionwindows.com. Watch this. Witness what happens to this woman's bags under her eyes in an actual time lapse in just minutes. The problem will disappear before your eyes with a revolutionary topical formulation that works in just minutes, and the effects will last for hours. Over one million people are using this topical technique to visually reduce puffiness and bags, even fine lines and wrinkles on the face and forehead. Introducing Plexiderm. Jump on board and say yes to this amazing $14.95 Plexiderm trial. Order right now. We'll pay your shipping. Discover the joy of giving back with Habitat for Humanity and Habitat Restore of Dane County. I love the cause. I love the people. I love helping the customer with their home projects. It's a lot of fun, but made lasting friendships, and you get a sense of accomplishment. Help build a brighter future. Volunteer today. Hi, I'm Fiona Rataj with the League of Women Voters of Dane County. Here are three things to know. Make sure you are registered to vote at your current address. You can check or register at myvote.wi.gov. 
If you do not have a Wisconsin driver's license or state ID, you can register to vote with your municipal clerk by completing the registration form on My Vote. Absentee ballots must be requested. Three things to know, part of News 3 Now's Three Cares Community Impact. Today, the state Supreme Court will hear arguments in a case brought by the governor, what he accuses the state legislature of doing. Plus, an update in the Rockford stabbings. What's next for the man accused of killing four people in a rampage and what it could mean for his trial. And the band of rain that we had earlier this morning is starting to uh, shift to the east. Still seeing that over there in Jefferson and also parts of Dodge County. We do have some more rain in our forecast. Well, the first one forecast coming up. Hey, good Wednesday morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Shane Hogan. Woke up thinking it was Thursday. <laughs> it is, in fact, Wednesday, so that's quite a disappointment. But oh, hey. Hey, get a bonus day this week. Got a bonus day. We've got rain. <laughs> it doesn't really matter anyways. The good weather has come and gone, but we need that rain. Yeah, we, we did. Rain. We did. We had a, a pretty strong band move through earlier this morning. Kelly Slifka has been tracking it all for you. Uh, what are we at right or where what's happening right now? Yeah, right now Madison is uh, dry and it looks like it generally now for the uh, morning hours mostly uh, dry here in Madison much of Dane County that band of rain that moved through Madison over an hour ago now over toward Fort Atkinson and Watertown may break up a brief heavy downpour, but it's moving along fairly quickly as mentioned pretty quiet here currently in the uh, Madison area. So we had that band of rain move through now that's over there toward Fort Atkinson Watertown seeing some of that moving east of Janesville this morning as well. So everything's uh, pretty quiet, but the storm system System, large storm system really wrapping up across northern Wisconsin. That's where most of the rain today is going to fall. Can't rule out a spotty shower here uh, through the morning hours into the afternoon. Another chance of some rain coming our way tomorrow. It is going to remain breezy and we're going to see these temperatures start to cool off as we go in the weekend, but it will be quiet for both Saturday and Sunday. Right now, mild 60 in Madison, 62 in Fitchburg, Middleton currently 63, so a mild start to the morning. So maybe a spotty shower here and there. They'll be brief, but the broad area of rain is up there in Adams and Juneau County toward Watoma. Here we are in the 60s today, so we're going to pretty much hold steady as we'll fall back in the 50s. Now headed off to the bus stop this morning. Most of the rain is done with here. Uh, should be dry, just cloudy skies. A spotty shower here and there. Otherwise, we'll look at low 60s. We want to get to our first warrant traffic because we do have an incident. This is uh, southeast of uh, Madison. Right now, Madison roads are looking pretty good, but we do have both lanes closed. This is on Highway 18 uh, between Bigelow Road and Low Road because of an incident. So be on the lookout for that between Cambridge and Jefferson this morning. All right, Kelly, thank you. Happening today, the state Supreme Court will hear arguments in the case between Governor Tony Evers and the Republican legislature. Now, this all started when Evers brought forth a complaint against the legislature's powerful budget writing joint finance committee. That was after the committee blocked funds for state conservation programs. At the Capitol today, Evers lawyers will argue the JFC has been going beyond its constitutional lawmaking powers. The legislature's lawyers argue Evers wants to fundamentally change the state's governmental structure. They say if the court eventually sides with the governor, multiple legislative committees will become unconstitutional. Just yesterday, Evers said the court should rein in the JFC. He said the idea that the committee has the ability to work as a fourth arm of our state is wrong. When Evers filed the suit back in November, Senate Majority Leader Devin Lemahieu accused the governor of trying to diminish the voice of Wisconsinites. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss also condemned the suit. The court's ruling could come within weeks or months from now. The governor is also threatening the legislature with another lawsuit. This one is about a special meeting with the Joint Finance Committee on PFAS. Republicans didn't show up, calling the meeting a political stunt. Of all days that uh, we should be sending that money out to the people of Wisconsin, um, it should be today. And Republicans are missing an action on this. Earlier this I really had no um, problem adjusting language to however the governor wanted that language to read, as long as it accomplished the task of protecting innocent landowners. Without the JFC sign off, the funds won't go towards any PFAS plan from Republicans or the governor. Meanwhile, the Supreme Court is accepting briefs in the state's abortion case. Planned Parenthood of Wisconsin and Attorney General Josh Call are asking the county to overturn a 174 year state law that some Republicans say bans abortion. In December, Dane County judge ruled that law does not actually ban abortions, but 
Sheboygan District Attorney Joel Ermanski appealed that ruling. Responses to the court are due on April 26th. Shortly after that deadline, justices want responses in another case, this one challenging the governor's budget veto powers. When signing the budget, you may remember that Evers used his veto to provide schools with more funding for the next 400 years. A group representing two taxpayers filed a suit against Evers on Monday. They say he misused his power here. Evers, Secretary of State Sarah Godlewski, and State Superintendent Jill Underly have until April 30th to respond. Two groups are asking a Dane County court to let disabled voters cast their absentee ballots electronically. Disability Rights Wisconsin and the League of Women Voters say many disabled voters cannot cast a paper absentee ballot unless they have help from someone else. This as the governor asks the state Supreme Court to overturn a ban on absentee drop boxes. Voting and disability rights advocates say that ruling also harms disabled voters. Wisconsin is one of 18 states taking action to protect flyers. The partnership with the U.S. Department of Transportation will fast track investigations into consumer complaints about airlines and ticket agents. Now attorneys general will be able to view consumers complaints and ask the federal DOT to take action. In a statement on the new partnership, Wisconsin Attorney General Josh Call says airlines and ticket agents conducting business in Wisconsin must do so honestly and treat consumers fairly. This partnership will help ensure that airline passengers are effectively protected against deceptive practices. Madison police officers in the city's North District are finally wearing body cameras. This marks the first week in a three-month body cam pilot program. The city says officers and supervisors have spent the last few weeks figuring out how to use those cameras. And while the program is happening, an independent researcher will study its implementation into the program. It ends a July 14th, upon which the researcher will present their findings to city leaders. 636 now. The man charged with chronic child neglect in connection to three-year-old Elijah Vu's disappearance will go to trial. Jesse Vang has pleaded not guilty to the felony charge against him. Court documents allege that Vu's mother, Katrina Bauer, sent her son to Vang for disciplinary reasons. Vang would later report Vu missing. Bauer is also charged with child neglect in the case and has pleaded not guilty as well. This Saturday marks two months since the child's disappearance. Now to an update on the deadly stabbing rampage in Rockford, Illinois. The suspect is getting a mental evaluation. 22-year-old Christian Soto is charged with killing four people and injuring seven others. The upcoming evaluation will determine if the 22-year-old is mentally competent for trial. A judge denied Soto pretrial release earlier this month. He will be back in court on May 17th. News 3 Now will keep you updating on this case and many other stories. You can just download the free Channel 3000 mobile app. Well, coming up after the break, we are talking about the upcoming Grilled Cheese Championships. And it is uh, another day to give to UW. Day of the Badger will tell you how you can get in on the action. And we did get a lot of rain yesterday. Most of the rain is starting to taper off or at least move on to the east this morning. More rain in the forecast tomorrow, though. We'll have the first warm forecast coming up. Everyone's vision needs are unique. At Shopco Optical, our caring team of professionals will work with you to ensure your vision is at its best. Shopco Optical can help you experience every detail, color, and breathtaking sight in clarity. Pick and Save always gives you more ways to save on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Pick and Save app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. With a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Discover more ways to save big every day. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Why won't you? I want fresh air. Hun! You need the experts. The Home Renewal Experts at Belco will make your project a breeze with free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest for six years. Free installation won't last long. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Belco. Honda you want is here, driving the moment with the rugged and capable Ridgeline, Passport, and Pilot. Find your adventure with great offers now available on the Honda you want. 
All from the 2023 Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com Best Value brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Dad, are you certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Don't need glasses. See us for your contacts and save on your annual supply. Tonight at 10, when a massive renovation project began at this Beloit affordable housing complex, some residents told me they were left out in the cold. She was saying how she's sleeping in her car, and I was like, that is ridiculous. Now, dozens more are speaking out about mismanagement and unlivable conditions. I'm hurt deep down inside because I didn't have any help. So I went back to the top for answers. What this management official told me they're doing to address the allegations. Don't miss my News 3 Now update tonight at 10. News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. Welcome back on your Wednesday morning. Today is part two of the UW Foundation's annual day of the Badger fundraising event where all donations go right back to the university. Yeah, so when you give, you can choose uh, one of more than 150 areas of campus to get your gift. To donate, all you have to do is head to dayofthebadger.org. They're accepting gifts of $5 or more up until 5 o'clock this evening. The fundraiser ends after 1,848 minutes in honor of the university's founding in 1848. And tomorrow is the last day that we are giving away tickets to the Midwest Horse Fair. The three-day fair is full of clinics, entertainment, shopping, and of course, plenty of horses. If you're not, not able to get the free tickets from us, they are on sale online and at select retailers like Blaine's Farm and Fleet. You can also buy tickets right at the gate. The package we're giving away of four tickets is worth almost 600 bucks. The fair takes place at the Alliant Energy Center from the 19th through the 21st. To enter the giveaway, just head over to channel3000.com slash contest. All right, 641. Kelly's out on the patio. Things cleared up out there? Yeah, actually, uh, starting to see a little bit of blue sky out uh, after we had that rain move through over an hour ago. And it uh, looks uh, generally fairly quiet the rest of the day. We can't rule out a, a spotty shower moving in. Now, we did have some uh, bumpy weather arrive yesterday evening, some severe weather reports, some uh, wind damage mainly. That was the main effect. Uh, we didn't have any tornadoes reported here in uh, southern Wisconsin, but we did have some wind damage. This was actually a historic pump house near Beloit. This was at 930, so this was one of the later storms. Earlier in the evening in uh, Fayette County, we did have uh, some reports of some wind damage uh, reported. This was at uh, 740. Then uh, up to the north of Madison near Lodi, we did have some tree limbs come down as well. Uh, right now, the uh, rain, most of the rain has moved on to the east, but I tell you what, we got pounded for some areas, two, three, even almost four inches of rain, mainly at northwest of Madison as you head up into Sauk County, then up to the north in Columbia County, saw some uh, pretty good amounts of rain, lesser amounts to the east, but all of southern Wisconsin, and especially in those areas that really needed it, northwest of Madison, got a pretty good dose of some rain. Now the rain has moved on to the east from Watertown, basically toward Fort Atkinson, headed toward Milwaukee, everything moving on to the east fairly quickly. Uh, seeing some of these showers near Beaver Dam down toward Watertown, and that extends down into uh, Jefferson County, moving away from our area this morning. Now this whole storm system wrapping up in northern Wisconsin will be close enough, can't rule out a spotty shower the rest of the day, but most of the more widespread rain is going to stay in the northern half of the state uh, throughout the day today. We'll actually clear out tonight, but right when that sun's coming up tomorrow, the clouds move right back in, and another surge of some rain is expected tomorrow, kind of a wet morning into the afternoon before that system moves on out, and then eventually we are expecting some cooler weather. So showers, uh, most of the showers are going to be pretty spotty today, just a sprinkle here and there, but more widespread rain expected tomorrow. It's going to be breezy, continuing right through Friday, and behind a cold front, a strong cold front, we are expecting some cooler weather this weekend. So the shower chances today are pretty slim now the rest of today through tonight. But by tomorrow morning, once again, we'll ramp up those chances of rain and that will continue into the afternoon. Future track may be a spotty shower, but you can see the broad area of rain up there in Adams and Juneau County. We're in the low 60s, so it is a fairly mild 
Wednesday for us. Temperatures will probably drop a little bit as that wind picks up out of the west at 10 to 20. And we'll actually see some clearing tonight as we drop down into the 40s. But waking up tomorrow morning, the clouds move right back in. You can see this rain spreading in from the west. A little bit steady, lighter rain. Uh, moving through during the morning hours and we'll continue to see those uh, rain chances uh, right through Thursday afternoon before winding down by Thursday night. 60 in Madison, but it's all already 66 in Janesville starting to cool off a little bit to the west as a cold, cold front's moving through. Temperatures now 58 in Sauk City, Cross Plains at 57 and 58 currently in Wanakee. Our first warm forecast does bring in that rain chance again tomorrow. A breezy Friday, but at least dry and rather cool this weekend. Struggling to get up to 50 Saturday when low 50 Sunday. More rain chances next week. All right, Kelly, thank you very much. Hey, an exciting morning here. We are getting ready for the Grilled Cheese Championships. Yeah, Jenna Vondra, the executive director of the Dodgeville Area Chamber of Commerce, is here to tell us all about it this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Jenna. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for all right, me. so what can folks expect this year at the Grilled Cheese Championships? Yeah, so it's a fun day. We have our competitors that compete uh, making the sandwiches. We have food trucks. Um, we have 17 different vendors that will be at the event. We have exhibitors, um, kids area, Bloody Mary bar, wine, beer garden, <laughs> all the things. <laughs> all the Wisconsin things, right? All those staples. <laughs> You're taking a look at some uh, video from years past. Of course, Josh and Mark have been out to the Grilled Cheese Championships. Oh, man, so many delicious uh, sandwiches there. Jenna, if uh, people are interested this upcoming weekend, how much are tickets? Where can they find that stuff? Yeah, so general admission tickets are $5 for ages 16 and older, uh, 15 and younger getting free. Uh, we also do have some VIP tickets that will be available day of, and those are $30. Okay. What does that get you for VIP? So you get a swag bag, you get um, a cup of soup, bottle of water, and um, you get to taste four of the contestants' sandwiches. Wow. So a uh, part of the area chamber of commerce in Dodgeville what does this mean for the community talk to us about the impact it makes yeah so this is a huge this is one of our largest events that we host and it brings in people from all over the United States so um, it's one of our biggest attractions for tourists which is amazing for us as a chamber standpoint as we like to showcase how great Dodgeville really is you know we've been kind of talking about Top Chef which is uh, focusing on you know many different parts of Wisconsin produce and cheese dairy all those things this is just another great way to show off some local cheese as well right yep and a couple of our local cheese makers were on Top Chef so oh that, no yeah way. yeah I saw that one this couple yeah, uh, new episode today yeah looking uh, forward to that they get extra points if they include some Wisconsin <laughs> yeah. flavor in there yeah they do yeah, that's nice. um, uh, boy, uh, it's it's been so uh, fun to watch to, and see what this event has grown into. Yes. Uh, we know it's a, a huge thing for the Dodgeville community. The more people who show up on Saturday, uh, just the, the better it is for everyone there. And um, we encourage everyone to show up. Yes, um, for sure. uh, tell people uh, when and where and how much one more time. Yes, yeah, so it's on April 20th at the Lay Memorial Pavilion at Harris Park. Um, it starts at 1045. The first com competitors start at 11 and it goes to until 4. All right. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Uh, you know, is there a champion? Well, how does that whole process work to, to get yes. the best sandwich? Yep. So we have different um, competitions, amateur, professional, youth. Um, and so there's first places, second place, third place. Awesome. And then we have best to show for our professional. Oh, categories. man. All right. We can include that Monday morning. Hopefully yeah. we'll know the winner. <laughs> and that's pretty cool. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Well, here's to another year. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Jenna. Thanks. Thanks. All right, 648 here on your Wednesday morning. Uh, we have the morning sprint coming up right after this. And if you've got a little kid turning three soon, let us know. We'll show their picture on TV. We'll be right back. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Spring is sprung and savings are in full bloom. Visit Menards Garden Center for everything you need to get your garden growing. Choose from hundreds of beautiful, colorful flowers, lush trees and shrubs, and everything in between. Menards Garden Center is back in bloom. Stop in today to get your garden on. Check out these fresh deals happening now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. 
Shop from the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. All with Bergstrom's negotiation-free upfront pricing, including our exclusive seven-day price protection and money-back guarantees. Stop in or shop and purchase at BergstromChevrolet.com. We're talking about cash backing. Not a game. Not a game. We're talking about cash back. We're talking about cash backing. We're not talking about bragging? No. We're talking about cash backing. We're talking about cash back. Mm. We're talking about cash back. Not a game. We've been talking about practice for too long. Word. No practice. We talking about cash back. We talking about cash back. I mean, we're not talking about a game. Cash back like a pro with Chase Freedom Unlimited. How do you cash back? Chase, make more of what's yours. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $200 at Walmart, over $300 at LensCrafters, and over $200 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. With the best service, quality, and prices, Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. To help you remember, I made this cheer. The value, A, awesome value, L, lots of value, U. Get two pairs of free eye exam and anti-glare lenses for only $79. Oh, the weather. What's the chance of rain tomorrow? Ooh, 80%. I make it rain. I make it rain. <laughs> Speaking of making it rain, at Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, we have an average 95% payout, which leads you to more chances of playing longer and more chances to win big. <laughs> Play longer, win more, chances are you're gonna like it. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. Who isn't ready for spring? And up to 50% off list. The spring home sale is almost over and deals are everywhere at Slumberland Furniture. Plus, introducing Flex Deal, committed to comfort and durability that lasts. Spring into a comfy Lazy Boy recliner for just $3.98. These great deals are almost over. Up to 50% off list, including this cool-to-the-touch mattress. Plus, special financing available at our big spring home sale at Slumberland Furniture. But it ends soon. For the best-looking fence, call Revamp Fence today. 651, time for the morning sprint. Today, the state Supreme Court will hear arguments in the case between Governor Tony Evers and the Republican legislature. Evers accuses the legislature's powerful budget writing committee, the Joint Finance Committee, of going beyond its constitutional powers. Republicans say the committee is acting within its powers granted by the state constitution. The Lake Monona Terrace and Waterfront redesign is one step closer to becoming reality. The Common Council unanimously approved adopting the master plan last night. It focuses on sustainability for the proposed expansion of the terrace. The State Journal reports construction should be underway sometime in 2027. Seven people have been selected to sit on the jury for Donald Trump's current criminal trial. Trump is facing 34 counts of falsifying records. Prosecutors say he paid off an adult film star he had an affair with to hide it from voters before the 2016 election. Trump's pleaded not guilty. The trial takes a break today. When it returns, lawyers and the judge in the case will look for five more jurors and seven alternates. Madison police officers on the north side will now wear body cameras. This is the first week in a three-month body camera pilot program. While police are wearing the cameras, an independent researcher will study the program's implementation. The program ends July 14th, upon which the researcher will present its findings to the city council. An update now on the deadly stabbing rampage in Rockford. The suspect is getting a mental evaluation. 22-year-old Christian Soto is charged with killing four people and injuring seven others. The upcoming evaluation will determine if the 22-year-old is mentally competent for trial. A judge denied Soto's pretrial release earlier this month. He'll be back in court May 17th. The man charged with chronic child neglect in connection to three-year-old Elijah Vu's disappearance will now go to trial. Jesse Vang has pleaded not guilty to the felony charge of child neglect he's facing. Court documents allege Vu's mom sent her son to Vang for disciplinary reasons. Vang would later report Vu missing. This Saturday marks two months since Elijah's disappearance. The uh, Supreme Court's conservative majority appears poised to toss a criminal charge hundreds of January 6 rioters are facing. And Donald Trump, one of the rioters, is challenging a federal law that makes it a crime for anyone who obstructs or impedes any official proceeding. 
Special counsel Jack Smith says regardless of how the court rules, his charges against Trump remain valid. Two articles of impeachment against the Homeland Security Secretary are on the way to the Senate. The Democratic-controlled chamber is expected to quickly dismiss the charges without a trial, that or conduct a speedy trial without conviction. GOP lawmakers say Alejandro Mayorkas committed crimes for his and Biden's handling of the southern border. The University of Southern California won't have its Muslim valedictorian speak at commencement. The school cites security risks due to the students' pro-Palestinian and anti-Israel social media posts. The valedictorian says that she is shocked and disappointed. It's the first time a university has ever banned a valedictorian from speaking at commencement. The Wall Street Journal is reporting the DOJ will file an antitrust suit against Live Nation. That's Ticketmaster's parent company. Live Nation has faced issues in the past over its dominance in the ticketing industry. The company claims prices are determined by artists' teams and venues, as well as supply and demand. The union representing American Airlines pilots says that it's seen a significant spike in safety issues on flights. Those include tools left at aircraft wheel wells and collisions with planes being towed on runways. Last month alone, there were a dozen incidents on United Airlines flights. A brand of gluten-free mini bagels are being recalled because they may contain gluten. Feel Good Foods has issued the nationwide voluntary recall due to cross-contamination. The affected products include gluten-free plain and everything flavored cream cheese stuffed mini bagels. According to the FDA, both products have best buy dates from 529-24 to 9-17-25. Those are listed on the bottom of those boxes. All right, good morning, meteorologist Kelly Slifka. As we are tracking mostly a showers that have moved on out of the area. Can't rule out a sprinkle or two uh, wrapping around the storm system. The broad area of rain up there in Adams and Juneau County here at the noon hour, just north of the Dells. Maybe a sprinkle, but might actually see a break or two in the overcast as well. Temperatures in the low 60s, but they do fall off off to the west as some cooler air wraps in. It's going to be breezy today with temperatures in the lower 60s, gradually falling through the 50s as we will be clearing out later tonight. Starting off dry tomorrow early in the morning, but the rain spreads on in. Another rainy day in our forecast tomorrow before we clear up tomorrow night. And Friday, looking at some low 50s, uh, struggling to get up to 50 on Saturday. A little bit cool this weekend. More rain chances next week. So things are really going to green up after all the rain that we've had. Some much needed rain. Yeah, especially areas to the north. Yeah. All right, Kelly, thank you. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're back with another news and weather update in 30 minutes.